Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm here with Erica Stewart, owner of It Clicks Photo, located in Metro Detroit. Uh, Erica's favorite music to listen to is house and techno. Do you do that while you're editing? Oh yeah. That's okay. Like driving, anything really. I just imagine you like this and editing at the same time. <laughs> um, she's an avid coffee drinker. Uh, wait, but where do you order your coffee from? I'm anywhere right now. I'm at Big B. So, I mean, I really love Big B a lot. Shout out to Big B. <laughs> uh, what's your what's your order, though? What do you order there? Um, usually, like, a chai tea latte, or sometimes they do this, like, cinnamon and sweet potato latte, and it's so good. That sounds wild, though. <laughs> it's, like, sweet, but it's, like, savory. Like, I can't even describe it. It's oh, my really gosh. Good. All right. Yeah. I'll have to give that a try. <laughs> um... But yeah, some exciting news about Erica's life is she's buying a new house and she's welcoming uh, a little one into her family come August. Congrats, Erica. Thank you very much. A lot of stuff moving. Is this number one? Yes, this is our first. All right. All right. It's fun. I was going to say, any advice you got? <laughs> yes, maybe. I have four now, so I don't know. It's, it's, it's fun. Um, but uh, also, Erica, you just recently finished your website. Yes, that sure did. Was that like a was that like a huge thing to like overcome? Like a lot of work kind of oh put into gosh. that. <laughs> yes, most definitely. Because it was like I had it where it was good, but it wasn't what I wanted to to like look like completely. So it was just like a total overhaul. Like each page I redid. I was like, man, this is taking forever. But like just adding on more um, albums and examples of full weddings, things like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. No, that's cool. And you say, and you think that it displays like your work a little bit better. You said like more represents yes. you as a brand and as a big time. Oh, awesome. That's, you know, that's all we can hope for. And that's kind of what we strive to do. So, um, question on that though, uh, <laughs> not to stress you out, but how did you work on the back end like social, uh, uh, search engine optimization on that or no? Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, dang. She's like, no, I don't want to do any more. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. No, oh I, did. I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was just working on that and because I have two websites right now. Uh yeah, it was it was it was not fun. So like my wedding website, I started on that one first. Um, because I hadn't done any SEO on it and all of my stuff is referral based. And I would I was like, well, I should probably get on that since it's been like 13 years. It's a lot of work and it's like, what do I, what do I type? You're like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Michigan photographer, wedding, like, okay, uh, what, what are we doing here? Yeah. It's, it's rough, but honestly, um, I just, just worked on the boudoir website version of it. And it's actually harder. The, the wedding stuff is way easier to, create like a cohesive message to send out there for so search engines to crawl. But, but yeah, <laughs> everything like Boudoir is like, I, I applaud you. It is very much of a, an art to like photograph and like, it's hard to like talk about it, especially mm -hmm. when it's like in a world where almost that is still kind of taboo, but we're getting there. Exactly. Know? Yeah. So uh, like certain words, you know, I don't know, might not like bode well for, I don't know, online, I guess. I don't know. Right. Sexy <laughs> photos, but like people are going to be looking up sexy photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you want to stay off the radars of those people who are look typing that in. So exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. So uh, I, I had a question for you. So what, what got you into photography? Like, how did you start doing this? Um, really, it was something that like long winded story, but I'll keep it short. When I was a kid, I always always stole my mom's Polaroid camera and like used up all of her film. And like every birthday and every Christmas, I would ask for a camera. Like I've always been intrigued with just like taking photos and stuff. And then like I, she kept on saying, "You gotta go into medical. You gotta go into medical." So then I was like, "Oh, radiology. It's still image taking." So I like started to do that and applied to Grand Valley for radiology and got into the program. But then I realized that they actually had like. Um, a photo program where like you learn in the dark room and you're like fixing chemicals and you're hands on and like doing the development and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, that's sweet. Like I love the chemistry part of the whole like medical field. I hated the lectures, 
So I was like, okay. And so I switched over and the rest is history. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 And you, and, was, and what, like your main focus though is like wedding photography though, right? As far as like, yes. yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. That, and then like branding, I'm good time, kind of like tapping into that more and more. But I really just love the weddings. It's just like, it's so heartfelt. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just a very like heartfelt kind of person. So. Yeah. 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 Cool. No, that's awesome. Wait, didn't I meet? Okay. So I know I met you at a bridal show. Were yes. you working at a dress shop? Sure. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So you're all in. It's just, okay. <laughs> it's the romance. <laughs> It really is. And it was like, uh, my first wedding was in 2012. And then when I graduated college in 2013, I was looking for like any job and came across the wedding shop selling wedding gowns. And I was like, Oh, that's awesome. They'll tap me in even more. So <laughs> then like, that's where I started there. I met you. I started meeting like other people in the industry. And then I just was able to leave there and go full time photography, which is great. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The switch is always difficult. Even if you're like ready, it's still like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't I don't know if the income is gonna come in or not so right it's like are there sharks in the water truly I'm not sure. yeah yeah so Definitely. I, I applaud anybody who wants to take that leap <laughs> I agree I totally agree <laughs> um so what do you I guess uh, my next question is what do you love most about photography uh it could be something simple but yeah yeah um the most thing that I like love about photography is just capturing the like candid and the emotions of the day or whatever the case is of just like capturing that person in their most like purest essence like that's that's my favorite and I love delivering those images and people are like oh my gosh like I didn't know so and so looked at me this way when this happened or whatever like kinda, that's just so cool kind of like those candid moments that nobody else is like r like like aware that's that they're happening I can't talk yes. today <laughs> <laughs> me neither it's the rain <laughs> Ah, oh, that's awesome though. Yeah, no, um, I agree that that could be really emotional. Every time I capture the groom, just like busting out some tears, I'm like, yes. Yeah, right? <laughs> Everybody's She's like, like what? <laughs> Cry! <laughs> right like, now, down. yes. I actually had, um, I actually had a captured a moment where the, the dad stepped on the bride's um, veil and it ripped out of her hand. <laughs> and she oh just gosh. laughed it off. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is funny, I mean, but also sad. <laughs> it's like, what do you even do in that situation? There's nothing you can do, just keep walking. <laughs> yep, yep. I think she put it back in, but it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. <laughs> so, um, I guess I want to ask, like, in your bag, what do you have in there other than camera gear? Like what else do you bring along to an event or a wedding day or anything like that? Oh my gosh, so many stuff. Okay, so it's kind of crazy. I have like obviously some extra things like a, a velvety ring box, some fake rings in case anyone forgets oh, a ring. Nice. My best friend's wedding, the actual like best man, he forgot the rings. And like, we were all giggling. We're like, okay, Brandon, come on, get the rings. And he's like, I don't have the oh rings. Like, why does everyone keep on saying that? So like, since that moment, I put extra rings and you know, <laughs> just like cheapies from Target or whatever, but just in case. Yes. Um, I have like this tiny little mini umbrella with a suction cup to like put onto my camera if it's raining. Oh my bit. gosh. It's pretty cool. Where do you, where do you suction where do you suction it to? I like the screen part. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And then um let me see here what else do I have? Try to think. Just like random things, a bunch of different batteries and all that junk and stuff. But Not like we actually have like a fanny pack that we take too and that has like tissues and safety pins and hair pins and oh, okay. everything you can imagine. Yeah. It's the backup bag. <laughs> yep. Nice. Exactly. No, I like that. That's cool. I feel like that adds an extra layer um, of like something else to your services too. Like if anything were to go awry and that did happen and you provided that service, I feel like that review is going to be top notch. Um, There's been a lot of times where I've like sewn straps that have broken or like yeah. even bridesmaids whose dresses don't fit and I'm like altering it a little bit for them. Like it's crazy. Yeah. No, that's cool. 
Yeah, I actually had a time where um, I brought one of those tag guns to a wedding one time. I had packed a tag gun. Your your video cut. Oh no. <laughs> it paused in a weird spot. Hold on. Technical Let difficulties. Me... <laughs> there we go. Okay, good. Oh I just my turned gosh. Off Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh. That yeah. Okay. Well, no worries. But yeah, the ta I had a tag gun that I um had brought, and the bride couldn't get her like train to like bustle up, and we used the tag gun to like tag all the pieces that, together. <laughs> that is so smart. Yeah, you that should get so one smart. to add to your bag. <laughs> um, can, wait, do you have a story? Has anything gone awry for you that you've had a fix other than the the straps? I think that's a out it it's okay. just like um just being prepared just that kind of stuff there was one time where the bride's mom was going to bustle her but she like poked herself on a pin and she actually bled on the bride's dress oh no like little helpful tip your own saliva will get your blood out of things so i told her mom i was like i know this is gonna sound terrible but you have to spit on your daughter's dress to get that blood out she's like what i'm like just trust me on this and the blood came out they're like how I'm wait like, dude does it only work with your own saliva or other people's saliva you know that's a really good question <laughs> i have no idea it's it's based on your type of blood <laughs> so, yeah maybe <laughs> that's but hey funny. it's a little tip it's something i learned at the bridal shop and now hey. you know all right hey guys spit on those dresses if you ever get blood on them <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> um okay so uh what inspires you like as far as like photography goes like what what keeps you going what keeps you doing it really just like the love stories just hearing how people met and okay. how they like do their different relationships or if someone started a business why they started their business it's just, like the person's why the person's like background i love that yeah that's okay just, it's so good yeah that story is important for us too like don't just hire me. I want to know about you. Learn about right. you. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm a part of it, but not the whole piece. Like, you're the whole piece of it, you know? Correct. So. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, <laughs> segueing into, are there any photographers, like, so, that inspires you, but are there any photographers that inspire you uh, that have influenced your work over the years? Oh, yes. Most definitely. So, obviously, like, the historic photographers, those are always great ones to go to but really like in our own little realm of Metro Detroit photographers Jean Smith I love her okay so much she's amazing her work is very candid it's very in the moment it just feels like editorial but natural like she's incredible where's she and she's totally inspired me I don't think I know her where's she out of you gotta look her up she just moved to I think actually South Carolina she still takes weddings in Detroit oh. like just moved there I think maybe a month or two ago dude um, she's gonna blow she's up there because I'm from I'm from South Carolina and that that was the place yeah mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome yeah. yeah she's great she's fantastic yeah oh okay I'll have to check her out I'll look her up on the in the group um, yeah by the way there's a group that uh it's the Metro Detroit photography group right Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shout out to Metro Detroit Photography Group. Um, what, I, feel like, I feel like they're going to get so many shout outs. Uh, <laughs> but uh, since I'm doing all Michigan photographers, but uh, <laughs> if there are like local groups you can join in your community, I, I'd suggest it because you can meet a lot of people and do a lot of cool things with them. So it's so true. And that like just having a community is so nice, especially when you're creative, if you need help with anything. It's just like it's so inspiring to see the entire group being so interactive with each other and helping each other find like coverage for other events that they can't do or whatever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Cool. Yeah. Do go do that. <laughs> go do that. <laughs> right. Go find your group. <laughs> um, so are there any things you've done uh, to help improve your photography? Um, you know? Yeah, Since, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of like last year and the year before, so the past two years, I've done a lot of just like self-development stuff because like brains, whenever we're born and going through life, we like pick up these limited beliefs and like different trauma things. And our brains are kind of like in little knots. And it's just like untangling those knots to see what's going on, which that's helped me ultimately with business by feeling more confident in myself and like reassuring myself of like different things. 
So I'd say that was the biggest journey that I've had for the past two years. But other than that, like just finding inspiration from so many other people and YouTube University is always great for learning for oh my like, gosh. different lighting technology or techniques and like different <laughs> editing techniques and stuff like that. So yeah, I would definitely say those are like key for sure. Of just like keep on growing and keep on learning, but keep on learning and growing about yourself. Yeah. It's going to help in every area of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. YouTube, yeah. YouTube university.com. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it's important to keep growing and um, challenging yourself and doing things. And also, like, when you're looking at other photographers' work, um, it's really good not to compare, but rather get inspired. Yes. So that's a good thing that you're doing that rather than being like, oh, dang, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, a, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, do, I do it a lot, so I just try to not to, to do that, so... <laughs> Um, uh, so what, what is something like one of the best experiences that you've had in your career with photography over the years? I would just say like when people do get their photos back and if like someone has like passed or anything like that and they like find those hidden little gems of like candid shots and just hearing about how impactful that is, like that's, that's game changing 100%, but it's like not only that but being able to work with someone on such a stressful day oh yeah and to make it like so easy and so calm and it just like helps them ultimately like every single time that happens that's always it just feels so good like that's a huge accomplishment yeah yeah i agree um and then i was gonna ask you though too is there are, are there any like um are there any plans you have in the future with um with photography like are they in I don't want to say goals per se, but like, are there any goals? Question yeah. mark. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Goals? What are those? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, definitely. I want to like be able to purchase my own like studio space, but also have a huge garden area on the back for like different portraits and stuff like that. Being able to rent it out to other photographers, things like of that nature. And that's, yeah, that's cute. That's been just speaking to my heart so much. Like I want to do that so freaking bad so that's definitely a goal yeah that's awesome kind of yeah i kind of want to i'm already rent okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna put my deposit for the the rental day right now so that i can yeah. write in the future <laughs> <laughs> sounds great because that sounds great <laughs> um yeah no that's exciting uh, i really hope that is something that you reach here soon um even with even with having the kid, that's going to be a lot of kid, the kid. <laughs> the kid. No, I mean, like, it is. It, the, the kid. The, that is a lot of work, you know? You know? So. It but. is. I know. And I'm, like, I'm so pumped. It's definitely going to happen. And I can just see myself, like, planting a bunch of tulip bulbs and daisies and stuff like that. And, like, little ones just running around doing something. That's insane. fun. Yeah. No. That's exciting. You should. I'm excited to see this come to fruition. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um. So I, I, I do want to ask, and this is always so weird to ask, but like, do you have like a specific process that you have for like approaching like the, the wedding day or like approaching like any sort of like portrait shoot? Like, do you have some yeah. sort of ritual you do before you do any of these things? Yes. Okay. So before then, before like, uh, we'll say engagement. So I'll actually ask my couples, like I'll do all the planning of everything, but I like to ask them things of like, what did you like to do when you were a kid to make like that shoot super fun and extra special for them? And yeah. like, sometimes it's like, Oh, we love riding bikes or I always used to read like libraries always intrigued me, stuff like that. So it's like those little elements kind of like sprinkle in through the shoot, but like the morning I'll do like my meditation and yoga stretching and stuff like that, just to get in like a clear head space <laughs> to be like, okay, like, you know chaos and like the noise is always going in your mind but it's like that centers me into like this isn't about me today it's about them so i always love doing that kind of stuff but just overall planning it like to a t okay so, like, so much way beforehand is like <laughs> I, controlling the entire process oh yes. question and then just letting it go <laughs> oh my gosh yeah so I mean, I guess it set it sets expectations though, and then that's that makes a that makes it a little bit more helpful to kind of guide everything. But um, 
forgot I was gonna ask you something along the lines of, oh, do you like trail? Is is that like your your process is kind of like becoming like, after planning that out like the day up, then you have to like zen out. What uh what time frame are you looking at for shooting typically? Like, end of day, middle of day, beginning of day, kind of thing. Just depends on like what we're kind of doing. Okay. Um, you know, if it's like we're doing something in the studio, we want that natural light. I'd like to go usually like midday or like beginning of day just okay. so we get all that light yeah. in there but if we're looking like sunsets and going out then obviously end of day yeah um, yeah, yeah, yeah but like kind of just over the place just depending on what the person wants okay yeah uh, so personal you're... preference obviously sunset but oh yeah no i love sunset you know? yeah <laughs> it's always so late though sometimes it'll be like ah, i want to shoot sunset I but i also don't want to <laughs> But also my bed is calling. <laughs> yes. So I guess in fall and in spring, sunset photos are the best because it's not 9 o'clock p.m. Right. when you're doing them. So <laughs> right. it's like five. <laughs> yeah, which is perfect. It's a good time frame. Um, it's a great time frame. So I think we're going to this was this was a quick interview, but uh, we're going to probably wrap up uh, here soon. Um, if there's anything you'd like to add, just toss that in there, sprinkle that in. But I would, I want to ask if, um, is there any tips you could give anyone out there um, who's like interested either in like getting into photography, already doing it, trying to improve? Um, are there any tips that you that you have that you could give them? Yeah, absolutely. I would say like you know for the longest time for myself and I'm sure for a ton of others too. Like it's really scary. Like we were saying in the beginning, jumping in both feet in something yeah. that you're so passionate about because of the unknown. But like, if I could talk to a younger me, I'd be like, just do it. Like, give yourself the chance, to okay. it, you know? Like, there's nothing to be afraid of. Like, if it were to fail, what happens? Okay, go get another job. Like, yeah. what's the big deal? But I would say like, that's the biggest piece of advice. If your heart's in the right place and like, you know you're determined for the right reasons, like, just go for it. People are gonna support <laughs> you and totally catch you on the way, so. So yeah, take so take risks and um, like live your dreams, kind of, kind of yes. yeah. Just jump out there and do it. Just do the thing, guys. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Just do it. But if you like need help, like there's so many resources out there, like free communities even, and you know yeah. everything you could really look, YouTube University, everything. Oh my that you gosh, even, you know. And, so and it's like there's so much support up there. There no, there plenty there is plenty and honestly, I feel like you just have to go like into it every day, like every day at the beginning of the day, you're just like you're just doing the thing that you want to do. So you just got to like focus on that. And I was going to say like bef when I got my first space, I was like, "Oh no, I can't afford to spend this much every month." But the thing is is like you just have to prioritize that over other things sometimes. Like if that's what you want to do, then then, you know, right um, it's yeah. all a juggle and yeah. it's like just figuring out what's the best route for you but you know honestly it can be hard that's for sure but yeah. as long as you keep your like mind where it needs to go like keep yourself onto the road that you want to travel on yeah. it can be all right yeah no good advice <laughs> thanks <laughs> <laughs> thanks um Okay, yeah, so uh, the last thing, last bit, unless you're jumping, throwing something in there, is I want everybody to um, to follow your socials, you know? So um, so drop those in there. Like, uh, where can we find you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like, Instagram, it's just a clicks photo at the end. Same with Facebook. Okay. Um, I have TikTok, but I think that's just for me. So I think it's erica.stewart. Okay. Um, but those are, like, Instagram and Facebook most active on those for sure so okay just it's clicks photo and and dot com as well and it clicks photo dot com all right sweet. that's right yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much yeah, yeah 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 cool no it was nice chatting with you and catching up and everything and hopefully this inspires other people to kind of like go out there and do some some stuff with their photography and you know, even if they're like just getting into it or, you know, if they've been at it for a couple of years, hopefully, you know, they get something out of this. So, yeah, most definitely. And like that was the thing that I I know now it's way more, which is great. Yeah. But like I didn't know that when I first started out, I could talk to other photographers oh. if they needed help, <laughs> you know, for like um, if they needed help doing any kind of shoots just yeah. to get experience and stuff like that. Like 
that's totally possible. So yeah. that's another thing for sure. Yeah, yeah. Just reach out. Just shoot an email. Shoot. Yeah. Eri- she's Erica. Shoot Erica an email. <laughs> shoot me an email. <laughs> <laughs> Meet her at the Big B. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks again. Um, the rollout's always so awkward for me, but thanks for showing up, guys, watching this um, interview. And uh, have a great evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> All right, nice chatting with you, Erica. Have a great day. Yes, you too. Thank you so right. much. Thanks. Bye.